Good afternoon, everybody. Hi. Here we are on your birthday weekend. My birthday weekend, yep. We're going to do something special. We're going to hit up three theme parks. We are. Over the weekend. We are. Today, right now, we're in, of course, the theme parks are not open. Yes. So right now, we're in Universal City Walk. Yes. At Universal City, uh, yes. Studio for Studios. Yes. So we're going to go eat. We're going to go walk around, see what's going on. And hopefully soon, the theme parks will open. Uh, we have our family here for dinner? We do. Yeah, so uh, we're going to check out, what is it called? Andojitos? Antojitos. Antojitos. Yes. Uh, I don't think I ate here a long time ago. Yeah. It was and, actually uh, called, this is an old one. If you guys remember Camachos, this, is, this was Camachos. Oh, okay. Before. That's when I was here. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, let's try it out. Let's go. All right, our family's here. Everybody knows Leslie, Nico, Christopher. Lyndon, my brother. Yes. Baby! Yeah, look, look at my cheat sheet. I got the house flight. So that we have a Blanco, Añejo, and a Reposado, mm -hmm. right? So uh, my Añejo is from Casadores. So here we go. This is the Blanco. Yeah, it's been a while. <laughs> <laughs> uh -oh. I'm okay. It's a reposado. <laughs> that I think is gasoline. Okay, this one's pretty smooth. Yeah. But I feel like this one's the strongest out of all of them. It's the one that ages the most. Yeah. yeah, it's really flavorable. You can yeah, really taste the tequila in it. Yeah, they're all really strong. <laughs> a mango margarita with chamoy. It looks really good. And this is one of their uh, popular frozen ones. Very mangoey. You can barely taste any of the alcohol that's in here. You can taste the chamoy in there, heavy mango flavor. This will do it. So here I got the mole enchiladas. It looks absolutely delicious with the refried beans and uh, rice. So let's cut into this and see how it is. Looks like it has a uh, chicken in it. The tortillas on the mole is super soft. The chicken is nice and moist. The mole itself is not spicy. It has a tiny bit of kick to it, but it's not bad at all. It has that nice, deep, chocolatey root to it. It's really good. And they put a little bit of sesame yes. seeds on top. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is a good one. I have the taco salad with the steak in it. You can see the beans here. The steak, cilantro, sour cream, avocado, everything is in here. On the bottom is the salad portion. Let's try this. Mm. Good tasting salad. Very fresh tasting. Not spicy at all. You can taste the the really nice chart of that meat. The salad tastes fresh. Mm. The beans here. It's a perfect little dinner. Mm -hmm. How'd you like your birthday, uh, your first birthday dinner? How'd you like it? It was very good. It was really good. The company was excellent. Yep. It's, it's not very busy up here. So no, it's not. If you're in this area, I'd recommend you to come. Not, um, I would say probably 90% of the stores are open. So we're going to go walk around yeah. now and see what stores no, are Keep open. in mind, this is a Friday night, so it it's not too bad. Yeah.
It's really cool up here. What they did is a lot of the stores that were in Universal, they brought them out to City Walk. So there's a Hello Kitty store. There's a store with a lot of like Back to the Future merchandise. There's still the regular Universal store. And there's one with even just a bunch of stuffed animals in it. So it's pretty cool. And they also can get your butter beer. Try it out. Oh, very good. It reminds me. Cream soda. That's what it tastes like. All right, we got some mini donuts. So we're gonna try these Trish's donuts now. They have these at Pier 39 in San Francisco. They do. Yeah, let's try it out. They're super hot. They just made them? They just made them. They're so cute. Hot. Oh yeah, they sprinkle these with little little sugar and cinnamon, is that? Mm -hmm. And they're crunchy. Yeah, on the outside. Mm, they're look. super fresh. Mm -hmm. There's a nice little birthday dessert for you. Ah. Good. Mm -hmm. Mini Monster. Mini Monster. So they had a Himalayan salt hot chocolate. And for a dollar more. Oh, I get it decorated. I huh? got a little bear. It's so cute. Let's try this out. It's hot. Oh, that's good. Mm. You know me and my hot chocolate. It's good stuff. You know we have to get some Cinnabon to go. Yeah, breakfast tomorrow. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to downtown Disney. Yes, this is our park number two in this yes. series. Mm -hmm. So uh, a couple days ago we went to Universal Studios. Yes, we did. Now we're at uh, downtown Disney yes. and hopefully we're going to go into uh, California, California Adventure. Adventure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're going to go walk around in California Adventure, see what's going on. It's a Sunday, so it's super busy. Mm -hmm. So we'll see how it goes. Yes, uh, mm -hmm. Leslie and Lyndon is here. Yeah, they're waiting in line already to get into a store. little teaser of New Orleans. Yeah, New Orleans. Hopefully soon. Hopefully. We made it inside the world of Disney. Yeah. Uh, the line was moving real fast. Yeah, so we're right? lucky because we're here right when it opened. Yes, but there's still at least 30 people in the line or so. At least. Mm -hmm. yeah. But we're in. Yeah. Happy Chinese New Year. This is a really heavy cup though. It's cute. How much is it? I don't have my glasses on, babe. Oh, 1999. Oh, not too bad. I think. He's all decked out, babe. Ready to party. It is. I like the blue pants. Mm hmm Many moons ago, when I used to work at Disney Store, we had to make sure all the eyes were facing outward. So when you go into the store, everything is staring at you. Just like this, huh? Mm-hmm. Is it gonna work, babe? Meet my new shoulder plush buddy. You can have one too for $15. <laughs> All right, this is about the closest we could get to Disneyland. Yeah. Right over there. Still closed. Yes, but on this side is where? California Adventure. Now, uh, this place we can go inside. Yeah, we're gonna go walk around. And it uh, looks like there's no line right now. No, right? no. Let's, let's go walk in. All right, let's go.
So it feels weird being back inside California yeah. Adventure. Yeah, it's actually kind of nice. Now their capacity is still kind of low, so there's lines to get into the stores if you want to look around. Mm -hmm. They have a lot of uh, outdoor dining, which I know take reservations, but there's a lot of walk-up windows, which we're gonna have. We're gonna go walk at the award-winning winners and get yeah, a, we're gonna grab a quick lunch over here. Yeah. All right. Yep, and uh, that's just a walk-up, which is really nice. Mm -hmm. But we're gonna go walk around. Okay. you can go but I know it's opening for our food and wine festival and I think at that time sometime in March you can walk all the way around but for right now this is as far as you can go yeah this is the way to the Grizzly uh, Grizzly River Run uh, Grand Californian yes we'll go check out the other side yeah. now it's a beautiful day today so on this side of the park or cars land, this is as far as you can go. Where the security guard is there ready to tackle us, just in case. But yeah, there it is. Okay, we're at Award Wieners and we got the corn dog and the hot link corn dog. That's a big one. Yeah, you can tell that the hot link one is quite a bit bigger. A little bit over and over an inch on it. Uh huh. I like big dogs, baby. I know you like big dogs. That's why I should give you this one. That's okay. You can have it. Okay. Well, this is the Hot League one. So here we go. Oh, very juicy. It has a good snap to it. Got a little bit of heat to it, but not not too much. So it's really good. And the batter is nice and crunchy. This is a pretty good uh, corn dog here. I'm trying the regular corn dog because bigger is not always better. That's what I say. Mm. How's it look? Oh, like a regular hot dog, mm -hmm. huh? The batter is really good. Very thin batter, as you can see. Really good, crunchy. Crunchy batter. The dog is perfectly tasty. It's a good corn dog. This is as far as you can go on this end of Hollywood back lot. I think it's still called Hollywood back lot. It is only up into almost the Hyperion Studio. I miss the Aladdin show. Yeah, we do. <laughs> So this is the WandaVision photo op. It's kind of a long line, but it's not too bad. So you have your picture taken on the old couch. So if you follow the show, you know what this is all about. That's going to be a wrap here at uh, California Venture in downtown mm -hmm. Disney. Like my ears? I know. Oh, actually, uh, they're going to go to Aaron's. I'm just borrowing them for right yes, now. Yes, you are. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So our next stop is what? is not very far. Yes, yep. for the chicken dinner. Yep, it's gonna be good, babe. Made it to amusement park number three. Yep, we are at Knott's Berry Farm. Mm -hmm. Now the Knott's Berry Farm is not open, but the shops outside are open. Yes, and the restaurants. And the restaurants, so we're gonna right. go walk around. Hey babe, it looks like somebody else is fixing the eyes too. The ex Disney. <laughs> <laughs> we will be attending the boysenberry festival they have here at Knott's in about two weeks, and mm -hmm. they have a bunch of boysenberry. They do. Pies before guys. What? <laughs> I like it. For a Sunday afternoon, it's really nice here. The Starbucks is open back here. Uh, the majority of the stores are open here. Uh, only Knott's Chicken 
uh, the chicken and the restaurant, the dinner place is open for food, but everything else is really cool. You can nice stroll and shop. Yes. It's so quiet when nothing is going on, but the next opening time will be the Boysenberry Festival. March 5th is the first day it starts. And that's the day we have tickets and for And that's it. the day we have tickets for Yes. It. What if this apple butter is like uh, Cracker Barrels? Uh, cracker Barrels, Cracker Barrels is pretty good, baby. Yeah, I don't know, maybe. They have like different mixes here. Here's like toe jam, toe jam, tangerine orange, and uh, elderberry or frog jam. Frog jam. I heard it makes you jumpy if you eat it. So all dinners include salad, like a cream chicken noodle soup, and of course, the biscuits with their boysenberry jam. That's all included within uh, everyone's dinner. Okay, I'm gonna butter my biscuit up. Okay, try a little bit of this jam, boysenberry jam. Biscuit. Here we go. Mm. The biscuit is super soft, fluffy, and buttery. And that boysenberry jam has the sweet and a little bit of tart in it. It's perfect. It's not too sweet for a jam and it's cold. Is so, it a uh, seed or seedless? Uh, it tastes like it's seedless. Okay. I don't know. Mm. Good biscuits. <laughs> they brought out the corn? Yep, they brought out the sweet corn. And I'm trying their fried chicken. Oh, there we go. A, and it kind of has a little bit of the mashed potatoes in it. That's kind of a small piece. Where's this mama? Butter. The chicken is sorry. The chicken is very juicy. The batter is very thin tasting. So many mixed reviews. But it's a good one. It'll do. Oh, I was expecting like a metal tin. Like a like the frozen kind, but it's, <laughs> it's it's not. Here we go. I see pieces of uh, chicken and uh, potatoes, carrots, some celery. Flaky crust. Yes, yeah, very flaky. And they give you an extra side of the chicken papaya filling. Mix this up a little bit. So I'm guessing you could put more chicken papaya gravy on it. Here we go. Probably hot. This is really good. I would say it's several notches above Swanson's. Maybe even Marie Callender's. It has a very nice seasoning inside the chicken. What are you laughing for? <laughs> They're laughing at me. And uh, the chicken is nice and moist. I think they use white meat chicken. But my favorite part is the seasoning and the pastry crust. It's really nice and flaky. It's really good. Now it comes with a meal is either an apple pie or boysenberry pie. Sometimes they have a, a pie on special, like uh, yesterday they had a cherry pie, but we have to go for their boysenberry pie. You know these are freshly made as well. Nice flaky crust. Look how pretty this boysenberry looks. Really good color in there. And now let's try this out. A very good flaky crust. And the sweetness and the tartness matches just perfectly with this pie. It tastes really fresh.
very good. What Knott's knows, they do excellent on pies. Well, Lisa made it sound good. I'm gonna have to give it a, give it a go myself. You're right, this thing does look really, really good. I know they just baked it today. And this one has seeds in it, like really, really tiny seeds. Nice flavor, just like the preserve that they gave with the biscuits. And the crust and the pie crust itself, very flaky and buttery. Yeah. This is what Knott's is known for. That is a wrap for our three amusement park for your birthday weekend. That was a lot yes. of fun. A lot of fun. Now, Disneyland from Universal, it's about 35 miles away from each other. Yes. But it's really on the most busy freeways. And so it'll take you about an hour in between each other. Disneyland to Knott's Berry Farm is only about 15, 20 minutes. Yeah, that's not, about, not that far. About five, five, seven miles away from each other. Mm -hmm. So you can definitely visit if you're looking for Magic Mountain. Magic Mountain is way far away. Yes. Maybe about 50 miles, 60 yeah, miles. The, yeah, Six Flags Magic yeah, Mountain, right? 60 miles away from Disneyland. So it's pretty yes. far. Yeah. Yeah. So this was a lot of fun. Uh, again, the parks are not open, but it was really neat to go into their walking areas, seeing what's going on, mm -hmm. shops, stuff like that. Yeah, and we had some good eats at all three places. Good eats and all different family popped in for the whole <laughs> weekend. <laughs> right, right. Uh, you have some shout outs. I do, I do. These, all these guys are sharing around the same time as mm -hmm. my birthday. Um, first of all, I would like to thank Emily P. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks. Mary Booth's birthday from Julie, Denise, and Peter, and us. Happy birthday, and happy birthday to all of these guys. Okay. Sam from Toronto, Brad, Jonathan O'Donnell, Peter, uh, Elizabeth, Jason Clark, Dean from Kaneohe. Mm -hmm. Happy birthday, Monica, Bob, Joey, uh, Sister Sharon Sister from Sharon. Sacramento. Yes. Happy birthday. Thank you guys so much. Wow, that's a lot of birthdays it this is. month. It mm -hmm. is. Uh, anything else, baby? What are we doing next week? Well, next week, uh, we might be going to one of our favorite weekend places. And I think oh. most people know where that is. Yeah, yeah. And we're hoping actually to go to New Orleans. Yeah. But it's not quite open yet. So not we're going to wait a few more weeks to see if we can make it over there. Right. Mm -hmm. But next week, for sure, we we're are... probably going to Vegas. Yeah, we're going to Vegas. Going to Vegas. Yeah. Right? It's going to be a lot of fun. Okay. Well, thanks, everybody, for watching this uh, Your Birthday Weekend. Yes. It was a lot of fun. And we'll catch you guys in the next one.